Master Journey. And today, we will be making our way back to the Magma Caverns and finally seeing what, uh, what that active transport thing is all about. I did not realize I couldn't get back up there when I jumped out last time. Or, or I guess maybe that's something new. That maybe I actually haven't been up there. I thought this is where I came from, but apparently not. But I'm hoping the Magma Caverns will be where I finally am able to get my grappling hook back. this time. That is not the right way. Did I mention I am terrible at directions? Mostly in real life, but apparently also in virtual life as well. So I'm going to buy those. 
those, I think. Um, and then Astroneer. Okay, I'm not going to do that again. Because that's another... Wait, how the hell do I get... Oh, I do have to do that again. Or I could just fucking boss it. I'm going to try to boss it. Um, Astroneer, and then probably it's just Minecraft, because it's a classic. And, uh, this kind of sounds like a humble brag, but it's nothing that impressive. But I have been playing Minecraft since it basically came out. Well, I haven't played Minecraft in probably the last time I played it was over a year ago. But I go back to it periodically, but I did start Minecraft when it was in, like, one of the very first alphas. I remember buying it for, like, $4 after seeing it. Oh, shit. One second. Back to my story after this. Oh, my God. Um, for anyone old enough to remember the, the TV channel or channel on satellite, G4... I remember seeing Minecraft featured on X-Play, and there's barely anything in the game that I think it basically just had zombies and skeletons. And uh, I remember going and buying it, and it was like $4. And I was the first person in my high school to have it. And I remember a guy that I'd recently become friends with had mentioned something about seeing it, so I gave him my password and I let him play on my Minecraft for years. And uh, now we're actually, he's one of my best friends. But then I remember, like no one was into it. And then like a year and a half, two years later after we had both kind of got bored of it, everyone in our high school got super into it. And we're like, well, felt like hipsters were like, we were into Minecraft before it was cool. So anyway, that super long, boring story is to say that Minecraft will be the fifth game that I think I'm going to try. But again, I want to be very open to feedback from you, because that's who these videos are ultimately for. So if those games sound stupid, please let me know. If you're excited about one of those games, please let me know so I can prioritize it more. What the hell is... Oh. the plan going forward, so just to give you a peek behind the curtain, I have 11 Stardew Valleys recorded right now. This will be the sixth Metroid video. I think I'm going to try to get 10 Metroid videos and then either do like five Slime Rancher or maybe do a couple Astroneer, a couple Slime Rancher in a couple Minecraft, just so I have some variety and I can start seeing um, what videos get the most engagement or watches or what people want to see the most, and then I can kind of tailor the channel that way. Okay, let's see, let's not fall into the lava here. Well, that is exactly what I, oh god, oh god. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, oh my god. Sorry, that was just a <laughs> bit of a panic attack there. God, I do not like these rolly ball sections in general. I think I'm near the active transport though. Whatever the hell that is. Let's just like connect me to a new area. Fendra drifts north. Is this the snow area? I know there's a snow area in this, or I'm pretty sure there's a snow area in this game.
Also, I'm not sure if I'm drinking enough in these videos or drinking too much. I don't know if that you like that, so sorry I asked for so much feedback, but I just want to make sure these videos are as good as they can possibly be. And I do, like I said, plan to do some with chewing gum and maybe some hard candies and stuff. Um, I just typically play these games at night. I'm actually playing in the morning right now. So I'm usually drinking tea, and gum does not tend to go well with tea. At least the gum and tea I have. But I think the next video I record after I've finished up my tea for the morning, I'm going to chew some gum. And it looks like we have discovered a new area. The Ventrana Drifts. Am I saying that correctly? Hopefully I didn't miss anything in the other... Back in the magma caverns. Is it possible for me to look at the magma caverns? World map. should go back and try to explore that little thing because maybe there's something key in there before I get too lost in here. this before, but for any people interested in audio equipment, I'm using a Shure SM57 microphone, which you have to be very close to talk into, so my mouth is basically right up against it. And I have um, like a windscreen on it, so I think a little fuzz or something got caught on that. And then we have to do this again and go back through. Shit. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. care of those. Am I even going to be able to get up to whatever that door is? God damn it. Oh god, I don't have much health left. time. Oh, fucking A. Yeah, and again, also, if anyone is offended by the swearing in this channel, let me know if it's worth me trying to work on that. That might be a bit of a challenge for me, but I'd be willing to do it if it uh, will make these videos more enjoyable for you. is promising. 
such low base on rest too. They do have high value to the monks of Grundium. However, recommend processing of crystals for that market once phase on operations cease. Report any signs of magma predator activity to Security Central or Wands. Okay, none of that seemed useful at all to what I'm trying to do. I think I need to get up there. Does it wrap around? jump back across. Is it possible to go up this way? Not up here too. Hey, which way is the way I came in? this connect back It's definitely some type of vent thing. to be that vent. But it looks like it goes straight up. I guess uh, that probably reconnects and comes out there. I probably blow that thing out from the back. Okay, whatever. Let's go check out the dress. Based on those tracks and stuff, seems like I'm gonna have to come back here at some point anyway. I'm just going to this new area with, oh my god, all those respawned, fuck. And now I'm just going to this new area with lay, way less rockets. And way less health. Um, god. things really do some damage. Mom, please have some health in here. I was hoping for more than that, but... Guess I'll take what I can get. I'll convince 
convince myself that uh, that passage only has another five missile capacity in it or something. Oh, shit. Which, honestly, I was complaining about never being low on missiles before, but it seems like I might start running out of missiles pretty quick with the types of enemies I'm coming across now. This new area has a save room somewhere nearby. Is there anything up here from here? I'm actually really excited to get back into Slime Rancher. I've... When did I play that game? I must have played it in 2016 or 2017. I can't imagine why I would have pirated it. I don't typically pirate games. But maybe as a free trial or something. I don't know. I remember I, remember I got it by some weird means. And I don't even think it was completed. It might have still been in early access. Um, so I, I didn't get super far in it, but I remember it being a, a pretty fun and enjoyable game. And I think it had a lot of exploration elements, kind of like this, where you need to get like a new unlock to discover a new area. Then you get there, and then there's, yeah, just a very good sense of progression. And the slimes are cute, and it's very satisfying. Let's try to scan some of these freaking things. A flicker bat scavenger with optical camouflage that renders it invisible to the naked eye. Flicker bats are deceptive creatures. The only way to track them reliably, reliably is with x-ray imaging. They fly ceaselessly hunting insects and other small prey that flock on the air currents. Flicker bats tend to fly in cyclical hunting patterns using primitive sonar to navigate. Is there any reason that I would want to kill them? Should probably use your camouflage. Well, that didn't They drop rockets, so I guess there's a reason for me to ruthlessly murder them. Let me guess these are some type of zoom or crispy, whatever things. Crystal light, territorial cold weather scavenger, the shell of a crystal light. <laughs> Flex beam weapons and can only be cracked by concussive blast. They hang upside down in an ice cave during their larval stage. Moisture runs off its body and forms the hard ice shell, which the crystal light retains for the rest of its life. So those take rockets to kill.
would generate heat bombs. Maybe I get a, oh yeah, I think Samus gets a flamethrower. I know she has one in Smash. There we go, this is what I, I need right here. We're only 26 minutes in, so we will continue on. Support personnel. All plastic support personnel report to Research Lab Hydra. Lockdown containment plan 3A in effect until further notice. Well, that sounds like a boss I'm gonna need to fight is probably the cause of that. Lockdown. Western Temple is in phase two lockdown. All projects are postponed. Under no circumstances are personnel to attempt access. New personnel must report to the South Research Facility. Failure to report will be penalized by a 30% ration cut and extra duty. Harsh. actually anything in the water in any of these maps. Can't imagine they would add that and not use it to some capacity. There's an opening near me. Sorry, buddy. Uh, oh, it's above me. It appears. <laughs> Another missile capacity thing. something in the Chozo overworld that I'm supposed to get before coming here. I bet I need the double jump. Shit. Let me look at the map. Magma Cavern, Chozo Ruin, Talent Overworld. stuff there I haven't I bet I need to go back and get the double jump because everything seems a little bit too high up for me <laughs> or I could be completely wrong and I'm uh, wasting my time again this video this episode might be a little boring does not seem like I'm getting a ton accomplished 
glad you get to watch me fight these turrets like 12 times and get annoyed. So, if you're a sadist or one of your drinkers is watching people get annoyed, this video will be right up your alley. is the case that's somewhere in the talent overworld that means i was at the right spot at the beginning of this video and i've literally accomplished nothing since i don't even understand why, what the heck is the point of that box i don't understand why that one's there shock is really annoying. Okay. Give me some power-ups. Let's get that double jump. Or grappling hook or something. This music this one specifically, but the music at the end of the video definitely gave me some Pokemon music vibes. I wonder if um, they had any composers that overlap between those franchises. That just reminded me of uh, the game Pokemon Stadium. Nintendo 64. I don't know why, it just gave me a, a memory of that, but that was a good game. They should uh, redo that and bring that to the Switch. Ah, oh, you bastard. You bastard. Why? What do you gain from that? That's what you gain from that. That's what you get. Why is the camera being stupid? But yeah, Pokemon Stadium was a good game. I wonder if I could find it. I'm sure I could find an emulator for that. I wonder if someone is, uh, I think there's a Pokemon Stadium too, which would actually, I never played it, but that'd be sick because, uh, I got into Pokemon, my first Pokemon game was, uh, Silver, and I think Stadium 2 added all the Johto Pokemon, so that'd probably be awesome. I wonder if, um, someone has remade that game. I was like emulated it and updated the graphics at all. I'm gonna look into that after this. Cause that'd be pretty cool. And maybe I'll play that. Oh. Is there something in this room? Did I even go back here? Uh oh, I need the spider rail system. There's Pokemon Stadium 2 emulator that's easy to set up. That might also be coming to this channel. Just an idea. 
off the top of my head. I haven't bought any of the recent Pokemon games. The last Pokemon game I played was uh, Let's Go Pikachu. Which, that's crazy that that came out. 2019 now, so... <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so that was quite a while ago at this point. But I am still a fan of the Pokemon series. I'm hoping they will get it perfect here soon. It seems like they're doing some innovative stuff with actually having the Pokemon in the open world and kind of making it more real-time and stuff like that, but it seems like the perform performance and graphics and just they haven't quite cracked it yet, but it seems like they're getting closer each time. But I would not be opposed to doing some Pokemon content on this, um, this channel if you would like that. So again, please comment if that's something that interests you. And yeah, I keep leaving this to the end of the video and I am almost 40 minutes in, but again, if you are enjoying my videos, a like and or subscribe would be super, super, super appreciated. Um, I really want to do this long term. I, I know that YouTube is a marathon and not a sprint, so I know building a following is going to take a significant amount of time and effort, but uh, any type of support just to kind of keep me going and show that I'm on the right path would mean a lot. Okay, how do I get up to whatever? next to here. And I'm going the wrong way. So yeah, I've basically accomplished nothing in the past 39 minutes of this video, so I apologize for that. Let's see, I guess I'll make this one a little bit longer just to uh, hopefully accomplish something. Okay, let's literally 40 minutes later coming back to where I first started with uh, nothing new. Nice. Ammunition's fully... Okay. Is that the save stations? I just get my health back, but if I save at my ship, I get everything back. That's good to know. No, I don't want to save again. And can I not still not access any of these freaking doors? Okay, I don't think I've been up over here. This is reassuring to a certain extent. Let's see what's behind this door. What the hell are these things? I was supposed to discover this before all the other areas. A new pirate data entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Space pirate encrypted data decoded log 10-3080. Field team's reports are in on an age structure of alien design. 
built on the surface of Talon IV. The study showed that the structure projects a containment field. So this field bars access to a prime source of energy within a deep crater. Science teams believe the field is powered by a number of strange Chozo artifacts. We have found some of these relics and studies on them have begun as this field could hinder future energy production operations on Talon IV. We must dismantle it as soon as possible. If this means the destruction of the Chozo artifact, it will be done. Who are these space pirates? Sounds seem like very good guys and gals or genderless beings. I'm not sure what what these space pirates are, so don't wanna don't wanna assume anything. This is giving me Samus Visor vibes right here. Interesting. Hopefully that contains some type of power up. New Chosen Lore entry. Throughout our living nightmare, as we battle with this unyielding darkness, we chose to see a light. This light glows with promise, chasing the shadows cast by the great poison and purifying that which has grown toxic. It is strange, though at times it looks to our eyes as if the light coalesces into the figure of a woman. Burning brightly, the luminescence descends from space, then retreats back into the infinite blackness from whence it came. When this prophecy comes to pass, when the light recedes, the Chozo's long vigilance of containment will finally come to an end. I mean, I did already kill that plant thing, so is that what they're talking about, or is there other poisonous beings? The containment of the great poison, this task has fallen to the Chozo, and we will not flee from our duty, even as we suffer with the land and its creatures. We will pour our will into the twelve, the artifacts which form the walk that hold this great evil at bay in the depths of the planet. This lock must stand up to all who might come to assault it, to preserve the power of the seal and to protect it from those who would meddle for their own designs. We will spread the artifacts across the land, hiding them from prying eyes. The lock must never open until the day comes when this disaster can finally be put right. Grove of life lies. 
reveal the pillar beneath the waves to find the artifact of Chozo. A sun chamber high atop our ruined home become, became the nest of a great beast and a source of corruption. Many Chozo spirits have been drawn to this tainted place release their bond to the world to claim the artifact of wild. Release their bond sounds like I'm going to have to murder a bunch of Chozo. The heat of Magmor was a test for many warriors. I can't tell. I can hear like a bird, I feel like, through the monitor, and I can't tell if that's in the game or in my neighborhood. A shrine in their honor holds the artifact of strength. That seems like maybe that thing with the seals that I haven't been, been able to unlock yet. Invaders have claimed Pandara as their own. A tower sits atop the fortress, collapse it to reveal the chamber where the artifact of the elder is held. A new order. There's a tower within the ruins where light always shines and moves through the water. The water is there to find the artifact of Life Giver. Within, our, within the ruins of our home, we honor our fallen elders in a great hall, a chamber beneath the statue, holds the artifact of world. stands at Pandara's edge. Seek the unseen entrance at its top to find the artifact of spirit. Have I scanned all these things? Okay. Most in, clues didn't seem the most enlightening, but I'm sure I'll find them again. This was a uh, this game was made for kids, so hopefully I can figure it out. Seems like this game is going to be decently long. What do I have? I already have almost five hours into it. And I still think I'm pretty early along since I haven't even regained the abilities I had at the beginning of the game. Okay, well, that didn't give me anything. Abilities. Let's see if I can access any of these other doors in this area. Okay, let's can I okay, shoot you? Shoot you, and then you'll get scanned, and then you'll get shot. Seedling plant-based ground feeder dorsal spines can be ejected in self-defense. Self-defense. I wasn't doing anything to you. I would have left you alone. See, this music right here, like, reminds me of Lavender Town in the Pokemon games. Okay. I feel like I was supposed to have probably discovered that door when I was here originally. But let's see if there's a, any other pathway that I can get into now. Okay, I haven't gone this way. Have I gone this way? This feels familiar, but... I guess this just kind of looks like the other area I was in, but I think it's different. See, this music right here also reminds me of Pokemon. Can I ball form? Okay. Nice. So I wasn't able to go through here until 
I got the ball and the missile launcher. What the fuck is that? Oh, those space pirates. This crate appears to be the same type of container found on the space pirate research frigate. The material seeping out from the ruptured metal is highly toxic analysis. Indicates that this may be the phase on compound the space pirates are using in their biological experiments. Flying pirates, pirates trained and equipped for airborne assault. The flying pirates are extremely agile in the air, but the heat signatures of their jetpacks can be tracked with thermal imaging. Oh, their missiles are extremely potent. Their jetpacks can be even more so. If the pack fails, they'll make a suicide strike. Oh, nice. My missiles trace them. Sick. Well, fucking cowards. Let's get to know my missiles can lock on to stuff like that. But yeah, my guess is also that this water was poisoned before. And now I can go through it, it seems. Anything down here? Oh yeah, I wonder if there's any underwater monsters. Lichen seems to be giving off low levels of radiation. No matches found in the flora or in fauna data. I need the freaking double jump for that too. I'm underwater. I really can't swim in this suit. I can turn into a ball, but I can't swim. Missing something super obvious again. I, I continually miss obvious stuff in this game. I'm starting to realize. That looks like something. Unusual energy patterns detected. these like supposed to be hints? Is this because I'm like taking so long? Or like what triggers these things to randomly pop up? Nice, more missiles. I get the freaking double jump. I'm not. Oh, I say that. 
this now, but I'm really going to try to avoid Googling anything for this game. If kids could do this in 2002 or 2004, whenever that could came out, with barely any internet, I should be able to do this without any internet. Our ruins I haven't done yet. Okay, so the white makes it seem like I can't unlock that yet. Okay, I'll my well. Yeah, I'm at an hour. I'm going to save, and uh, hopefully we'll accomplish more in the next video. But thank you for sticking with me through this one. I know this one was uh, a little anticlimactic and boring, but we increased my missile capacity by like five and went to a new region and found some story stuff. So I guess not completely uneventful, but yeah, hopefully the next one will be a lot better and uh, you get another hour long video out of this one. So I guess that's a good a good plus if we're looking at the positive side, but again, thank you for spending your time with me. Please like and subscribe if you like this and would like to see more videos from me, and uh, I hope you have a nice night, and I will see you again soon. Bye.